Hey, this is Jared with Omnivore Blade Works, and I made a really important discovery today. Actually, I kind of worked on it a little while ago. Well, not a while ago, but this week. What I got here is a two Dremel tools, an old one. This is I think I've had this since I was 16, or 20 years old, and then um, this new one, which is really nice because you can set the speed and then have an on switch turn it on and off anyway this is a 90 degree carbide burr and then this is a really old stone which I just dressed the point of it to be 45 or 90 degrees include an angle too or thereabouts so what I'm doing with this these two tools is to deburr the inside areas I told you in the last video that I needed to deburr these areas before I send them off heat treat because that way the paint will stick anyway I've been doing this with um, a regular Dremel tool or Dremel a, a regular um, uh, here it is a little round Dremel file or a carbide and I was just holding the Dremel at a 90 uh, 45 degree angle and just you know buzzing around having to change the my hand around the whole way and then after that I'd go back in there and use some uh, sandpaper and just sort of shoe polish it you know like this and um, it took forever and it was dusty and gross so now having this new carbide bit I can take my one Dremel with the carbide on there I did the, I did the clam milling so the, the cutter is turning clockwise and I am moving around the, the pocket counterclockwise which gives me a, a reasonably clean and um, uniform chamfer that I just basically milled on it but by hand um, and then I used the stone to clean up that work because it's got a, you get a little more control with the stone doesn't knife in as much so you can um, get it even more uniform finish So, I'm going to show you a real close in shot of this because I feel like this is a major breakthrough. And um, for those of you guys who are working, come on, focus. For those of you guys who are working in this sort of, you know, with metal, if you're going to do a, a Cerakote finish, you got to have you gotta break those sharp edges so you can see the difference here between a sharp edge and a broken edge which is really pretty darn good considering how much work I put into it um, carbide bits I got from carbidepot.com and uh, it just changed my world so I thought I'd sh share this technique with y'all and um, I hope that you uh, will appreciate the, the fact that I'm sharing this with open source manufacturing. Alright, this is Jared with Omnivore Blade Works. Check out our website, omnivorebladeworks.com, and uh, I'll see you soon.